hey guys welcome to my youtube channel today we will see pn exercise for beginners who wants to increase their speed hand independence and control check it out the first exercise I'm going to see is based on five finger scale so we are going to take our right hand thumb and place it on c and left hand five finger on the C below and what we are going to do is walk up and back down now it's look really simple but if you are a complete beginner this is actually quite challenging getting the fingers to cooperate stay relaxed to play through the notes and play it very slowly till you get the fingers to cooperate and eventually you are going to get comfortable and when that happens you can build up the speed but make sure you are staying in control We can also play with little modifications which switch up the rhythms and it's will develop your hand independence. So I'm gonna play quarter notes in my left hand and while I play eight notes in my right hand. So that means for every two notes I'm playing with my right, I'm playing one with my left. So now you can switch the same, we can change it from right to left. Now I am going to play quarter notes in my right hand and play 8 notes in my left hand. So we are really working hard to making the hand independence here. The next we will see the contrary motion scale. This scale sounds fancy but it's not as hard as it sounds. We are going to make a little butterfly with your hands and share a middle C and then all you are going to do is play 1, 2, 3 and then your thumbs are going to come underneath and then your hands reset and you finish the scale and travel back down exactly the way that we went up. Thumbs underneath, hand reset, finish the scale. And while traveling back, our third finger, the three across it, over top, reset our hands so that our ones can join in the middle. In one go, it sounds like this. We can also practice in one hand. So on the right hand you can see the thumb goes under it and hand reset and you can finish the scale. And while coming back the third finger on the top and reset your hand and you can finish the scale. Same in the left hand. Here in the left hand like the third finger on the top and while coming back the thumb underneath hand reset and finish the scale. And when you are comfortable, you can practice with both hands and you can increase your speed. We can also practice very slowly till you get quite comfortable and you can increase your muscle memory as well. and make sure you are in control. And the next one you will see is solid claw. This is called claw because we make a claw shape with our hands and use one, three, five fingers to play a chord. Once you can play chord, 
work your way up the keyboard to play a chord on each note and back down again. Play it slow till you get comfortable and you can increase the speed. When you are comfortable, start experimenting with dynamics to control the volume like crescendo, decrescendo. So while playing like all the way to crescendo and while coming it's decrescendo, you can play with the dynamics and you can feel that the piano, the emotional and all the stuff. I hope you enjoyed this class and it's helpful. So keep practicing. Have fun. Thanks.